In today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to create a click to call button just like this one right here. So make you stay tuned to learn more about it. Like always guys, I'm going to leave all the links down in the description. Let me check that out in the video. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, I would love to see you basically come in and join the community. Um, but let's get straight into it. So the first thing we're going to start with right here, let me pull this over. Um, we're going to start with just the basics. So if you guys haven't known already, on these Monday tutorials, I put all the code up on GitHub and I actually document exactly what everything is for. So let's go to the actual Visual Studio. So basically right here, I'm going to walk through what each piece of, of code is for. So the first thing right here at the very top, you know, we, we're declaring, basically that we're going through and declaring that this right here is the HTML5 template. We have our basic HTML header. Um, we have our meta viewpoint, which allows it to scale down to mobile, as you see right here, and look prop, look how it's supposed to look, scale down. Um, and then we have our border padding. So if you take this off right here, it basically adds a padding around it, because just some browsers do that. And then we have a phone link. With the phone link, it's actually right here. So you can kind of disregard this section right here. This section is only for just the different colors and backgrounds. So this section right here, we have phone link. And basically, phone links is just we put on the phone link, and we make we make certain things from the phone link right here, such as um, on the phone we have a position fix, which fixes the position down to this right corner right here, as you see. And if you want it to be in in the left corner, you basically change this right here, change this one to the left, and if you want it to be in the top one, you change this to top. And then we put a margin on there so we can have some space around the edge, and you can give it as much space as you want. You know, it just depends on what you want to do right there. And then we went down to phone icon. And phone icon is actually for the phone, the actual individual image font we have right here. We see we have the image in this section right here. And this right here is to determine the actual, this right here is to actually turn the width and the height of the actual phone as seen right here or right here. To actually do that. So also too, so when you get to um when you get to this side right here, this right here is just basically a uh, at media right rule that basically says that at that at a max width of 480, which is the actually the screen size, um more for mobiles, like you see this one right here, to turn it into if you see right here in the bottom right here, pull this over. Right here, you see right here, it starts open, trying to open up an app right here. But this is for the actual for people to make calls on your mobile phone if they have if they're on a mobile phone, so that it shows on there. So see, on large screen, basically this element right here, which is a link to a different um, actual link that you might do like to a contact page, um, is is off. And to this um, mobile screen phone right here is actually set as I set the show and same thing opposite is right here anything that is a basically the mint so anything from 480 and up um to show the link and anything underneath and then then anything then basically and to not show basically to show the link right here and then on this one right here is not to show basically to take the display and make it none for the actual other um telephone link for when people are on their mobile device to actually call because you don't want them to click this right here and then nothing happens. Um, so you click right here to be the contact form right there. And that's basically the end right there. As you guys can see right here, um, it changes right here. And you click it on this page right here, over here. Click it on here. It takes you to a link. You can make this link anything you want it to be. And then if you click it over here, um, it tells you this right here, this one right here. But it actually is a phone number there that it shows up on your phone. So it depends how you like it, guys, and it's really easy. So like I said, for I'm putting this right here in the actual um. This right here is actually going in the GitHub as well, and you can see everything I lay out and I talk about how to do it. It's a simple way to make a click call functionality put on your button. I'm putting it on your on website really easily. So let me know if you guys like this right here. Um, and guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Like this video if you like it. If you haven't already. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you on the channel. Basically, on Mondays, we do the tutorials. If I hear this video is going out a little late, but we do a digital pro digital product and software development tips and tutorials on Monday. Um, Tuesday, um, I mean, Wednesday, we're doing more um, 
how to sell digital services and friday we're doing how to sell digital products tips and tutorials so make sure you subscribe go ahead and hit the subscribe like this video like it comment down below let me know what you think about this video and what you're going to do with your click call functionality and guys thank you so much i'm xavier kelly and i'll see you in the next one